Hi, my name's Peter. This is my father, Alan, and these are our Land Rover Discovery Series 1 V8 Ice. My number one four-wheel drive rule would be, don't be shy, pick up the tools and have a go at building your own truck yourself. I've been four-wheel driving now for about 12 years. My father came out on a trip with us four years back and hasn't looked back since. He bought his own truck. Mine is the early Series 1 with the three and a half litre V8. My father's is the update with the 3.9. Both vehicles are set up relatively the same. Both sport in a generous two-inch spring lift with 33, 12 and a half, 15 inch Maxxis Bighorn mud tyres. The suspension in these vehicles is pretty well set up with all the terra firma bits and pieces. Cranked rear trail and arm, cranked front radius arms, also three degrees caster corrected with dislocation cane. The uh, diffs are a bit special in these also. They're running the Ashcroft air lockers front and rear with uh, 436 Ashcroft reduction gear set in uh, both ends. Also running high tough engineering axles because uh, as everyone knows with the Land Rovers, the diffs are a little bit on the weak side. These are as bulletproof as you're ever going to make them. All the bar work on this truck was uh, made by myself. That's rock sliders, front bar, rear bar, and roof rack. The front bar and rear bar on my father's vehicle is a Ravercraft winch bar, hence why I say don't be shy, pick up the tools and have a go at building your own truck. Both vehicles are running a 9,500 pound low mount winches. This one is a Venger Mako. This one over here is a Warrior winch. Both vehicles are running underbody protection. We've got diff guards on both vehicles. My father's one has a steering guard. Both cars have heavy duty steering arms. As you can see, we're both running LED lighting. I've got actually three on mine, two on the rack, one on the bar, because I'm scared of the dark. Both vehicles got snorkels fitted. Mine's an airflow snorkel. My father's is a safari snorkel. Both engines in these vehicles have been left standard. I actually prefer them that way. Keep them simple. If something breaks down out in the bush, you're pretty much guaranteed you're gonna be able to do a trackside repair and nurse at home. My number one four wheel drive rule would be, don't be shy, pick up the tools, and have a go at building your own truck yourself. The reason why we chose the Land Rover Discoveries is their purchase price. They're easy to modify and easy to maintain. We originally picked these vehicles up at a bargain price. This one cost me $2,000 and this one cost my father $2,000. That is why I reckon these are the perfect budget for wheel drive. The benefits of the modifications we've done to these vehicles, in my opinion, makes them a capable, reliable, high country touring four wheel drive. And for us, that's what matters because we spend a hell of a lot of time out in the high country. My name's Peter Williams and this is why my four wheel drive rules.